tell us a little bit about Clint. What have you been doing lately? Uh, well, I uh, do all country music all the time. Um, and I uh, started out in 2013, won a singing competition up in uh, Big Flats, and uh, that kind of catapulted me into the, the public eye a little bit. Um, I've had the chance to open up for Billy Dean, Ty Herndon, Anita Cochran, um, Daryl Worley uh, coming up on Memorial Day on the 24th. Um, and writing and recording, uh, first single, I'm an American, went over really well. Um, I've actually just got out of the studio um, with Lonnie Park doing uh, a song called Creek Bed, which is one that I performed and uh, that's going to be released here digitally. So everything's going well so far. It feels like it's falling yeah, into place. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the next question I, I was going to ask you is who are you, who is? I would have to say songwriter. Is yeah, that correct? Absolutely. Um, so uh, about your singing experience before all of this, where did where did this start? I uh, I was kind of like every other high school kid. You know, I did the, the course thing and, and stuff like that in high school. Um, I was in an acapella group. I went to St. John Fisher College, got involved with that, and then uh, I got a guitar as a gift like my junior year and uh, no it's just a hobby that kind of got out of control <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what really inspires you when you sing it what is back there pushing you on I, I think it's it's I think it has is with all musicians it's the the dream um, for one but with me being a songwriter and stuff doing my own songs um, a lot of the music that today, unfortunately, some of it you can't really get much feeling from it and stuff. So that kind of pushes me a lot is to have music and have a song that actually means something to someone, whether it's myself or somebody else. You know, if it connects with one other person out there, then you know that's great. So that's kind of the the drive behind it all. Yeah. Uh, what would you say to the country music skeptic, the guy that says, oh, "I hate country. It's all about your dog running away and your tears and beer." I, I hear that all the time, um, especially when people ask, you know, I, I bring up music in a conversation, they, you know, I tell them it's country, and, and that's usually kind of the, the first things out of their mouth is, oh, it's all sad, it's all, well, it, yeah, some of it is like that, but it's because somebody wrote it, so somebody was connected to it, so it's, actually, Trace Adkins had a song, but the song's about me, um, so it's kind of the thing, you know, take a second to listen to it, um, you know, not necessarily the stuff that's on the radio, but get an album of somebody and, and take a, a ride down, you know, their kind of music on that because you're basically see. listening yeah. to everything that they were feeling at some point oh absolutely yeah them. yeah definitely uh what would you want to say to a our judge panel and our potential voters um that I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this chasing the dream, definitely, 100%. Um, it's something that in the past few years has really become a realization to me, um, you know, that playing out and stuff and you get the compliments and stuff and it kind of gets to you, you're like, okay, maybe I can do this. So it's, you know, I'm all in 100% trying to do this local guy, you know, trying to make it and all the support matters, you know, whether it's one person or a thousand people that hear you, you know, everything matters, everything counts. I want you to give me your best reaction if you were to win the whole thing. Thing. The Visions Country Hitmaker Challenge this year on three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> I'm speechless. I mean, honestly, it's it's another one of these things, you know, that it can happen to anybody and anybody can win it. And it's, you know, it's it's another opportunity. It's a it's a chance to get yourself out there. So.